Um, Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> Tits. And tits. Tits. <laughs> what is that again? Patron Orange. Okay, that actually was not too bad. Straight Patron, I can. No, it doesn't taste like it. There's a weird orange flavor to it. Yes, he said it was Patron Orange. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. I really taste the oranges. <laughs> the point of 27 the oranges in <laughs> each bottle. Alright, so let's introduce ourselves. Um, I'm Joe. This is Mike. Mike. We're, um, we're 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 organizing this this whole thing, and we asked James and Danny to come and join us for the round table. We're gonna have multiple different <laughs> guests. Hopefully, if this thing keeps going, um, and we're all anarchists, so um, it should be interesting. And we're all friends. Yeah, we. We're all Except friends. for Danny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm okay with He's that. our friend, but nobody likes him. <laughs> I'm, I'm, in the, I'm the uh, minority of the group. Could we call the, you the token, token minority? Yeah. <laughs> we call you token. <laughs> call you token what's, missing, yeah. what's missing are the token uh, anarchist women yeah. for, for this stuff. Well, Katie was interested. <laughs> yeah. She um, she had a panic attack today, actually, at the, at the airport. So. Yeah. Well, oh, she wow. was going to New York. Yeah, she, the, she missed the flight because oh. the TSA groped her and they fucked her over on the line to get into um, the airport. Oh. And so she missed her flight and she missed her... Uh, the thing is, she has to get like a certain key from a certain place in order to have a, to get to have like a place to sleep in for the night. <laughs> By the time she lands in, in New York, I don't think she got to the place that has the key. Or they closed before she could get to it. And so she she may or may not be sleeping homelessly tonight. <laughs> oh, no. Jeez. Not a good thing in New York, and it's no. extremely expensive for hotels. She stuff. said it was 600 500 bucks a night just for... Holy crap. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's a lot. To... She could yeah. call John. <laughs> that would be interesting. Yeah, she could totally call John. I wonder if she even thought about that. Probably he could not. probably rescue her. Yeah, him. probably not. Yeah. And then we also had Kate cancel for today, so we had a chance. To... Kate Dole? Yeah. 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 She always cancels. Yeah, she cancels all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so what is our first topic, really? I'm confused here. So, I mean, we came up with a few different topics. We've got um, the merits and demerits of running for office as a an anarchist. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> we have... Um, working for the state. In what context? And um, so that's the thing. Are you for or against it, or are you complicated? Well, you um, could theoretically argue that everyone works for the state. Yeah. And then um, you had a topic you wanted to talk about. Oh, we, me, you, and James had talked about um, in our first attempt to. Uh, Oh, an anarcho commune. <laughs> Ew. Anarchist commune. That was my words, but not really a commune. Just a, a community of anarchists uh, living in adjoining property. I mean, we only and, got, what, 12 minutes of record time per video, right? Yeah. Right, but we can mash all of this together in <clears throat> one video. But it doesn't automatically restart, oh, does it? You know, no, that's the problem. It'll automatically stop. Oh, it looks like the battery's dead too. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ! Might be a podcast. Well, I'm a little surprised that the battery's dead. I thought I had more in it than that. I've got another battery, and I have a charger. Okay. So we're prepared for that. I all potential to, failures. I prefer to have the battery run out than to charge it before it runs out. Anyway, so if it if it cuts off, we'll just restart it. We'll take a break. What would you like to talk about, Danny? I'm kind of interested in the con- uh, the working for the state or, or um, discussion. All right, you want to start with that? Sure. All right. So here here's what I was thinking about that topic. What happened was this morning I got an ad on Facebook from Michigan looking for people to drive snow trucks, snow snow plow trucks. Okay. And that got me thinking about. This topic, it's a really complex topic, unless you're just flat out against all working for the state, then that kind of closes the topic down right there. But, well, um, suppose, no, no, I'm flat out against all working <laughs> so, for the state. He's flat out against it. But you could provide arguments, bro. Are you trying to bro. be a sheriff? 
It's not working for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Being the sheriff's deputy is working for the state. All right. All right. He wants to be. So who pays the... you if, you if you're a sheriff? It's not what the state is. <laughs> See, when you have a, a position of power within the state, you can work to take the state down. Um, when you have, when you actually work for the state. No, not within regulations. Like, for example, the sheriff argument, where I'm running from, where I'm running for. I'm running for the sheriff, so I'm running from Fair the enough. sheriff. But, uh... The you know as that I could ha- I have a bunch of power as that to where I could completely halt the uh, people going to jail. I can say nope, jail's full. Sorry, you can't put any more people in jail. Shit like that. And as someone who's working as uh, a snowplow guy for the state, all they're doing is plowing the, the roads for the state. If they don't do, plow the roads, they get fired. But as if, as the sheriff, for them to put more people in jail. They would have to have a recall election, recall me from being sheriff, and until that would happen, I'd be able to halt all new people going to jail. That, well, I have to wonder, and clarify for me if I'm wrong, but I'm under the impression no matter what office you hold within the government, you are bound by regulations within it. That said, I imagine that the state could, in theory, bring up charges against you saying you have not followed your quote unquote oath of taking office as and sheriff. That would be part office. of my that's part of my duty as sheriff is to have it would be to have complete control over the jail. The jail would be my duty. Right. I understand and that. When like for example the uh current sheriff, his jail was full. He could have said no more people going to jail. Instead he said build me a new jail. Make it bigger. You know, and that's the two the two different ways you can go about it. If I would have been sheriff, I could have said no more people going to jail. Well, then how would the court system the deal The court with? system would have to, the judges would have to determine who to release early in order to allow new people into the jail. Now, couldn't the court So system... that would de facto create decriminalization of drugs in Livingston County. Because but... they would have to look at who's the one are they going to let out, who are they going to let out, the guy who's beating people up or the guy who got caught smoking a joint. So the guy who got caught smoking a joint is going to be released early. And that would be a de facto decriminalization in Livingston County. Just just by having... So the sheriff it. gets to decide who gets released early? No, well, no. no. The sheriff gets to say that my oh. jail's full. All I right. can't accept any new people. Hmm. What about the oath of office? Don't you have That's to part of the oath of office. Oath, oath to the con- That's part of the oath. Constitution. And it's I, not yeah. just the Constitution. It's the, it's the laws within the state. Yeah. And, the and this is what I was t- alluding to earlier is that I would, I'm fairly certain that the state could sit there and say, well, you are no, not following our laws. No, that's within my uh, constitutional ability to do so. It happens all the time. This isn't something that isn't, doesn't happen. When jails are full, they release people. And it's up to the person who's running the jail to determine if it's full. All right. So would you have any authority over the, um, I don't want to say state troopers, but... Um, I would actually have supreme arrest powers in the thing, so I could arrest any state troopers, too. So and even if, feds that came into the county. If I said that a fed came into the county and was violating the Constitution, whatever fuck that means, um, <laughs> I could arrest them for doing so. Because that's part of the duty of the sheriff. The now, sheriff you know, so working at that, using the state against the state by taking a position of power in the state is far superior to than... Uh, Working for the state for I don't know what the fuck reason to collect a fucking paycheck. I don't know why you plow snow, you know, for for, for money. State. <laughs> well, you can get a job doing that private sector, no problem. Pay probably pay more. So, have you listened to the Beyond Civil Disobedience series by Ben Stone? Talking about the Lego thing? No, I haven't yeah. really listened to it. Just a little bit. I know. A little, yeah, I know it's it. like five hours long. No other. Um, so in that series, Ben talks about people working for the state to Throw a undermine face. the state and he's talking about there's a whole assortment of ways and levels of sabotaging the state's output by either a being highly unproductive or being actively destructive you mean like to, ron swanson um i'm not familiar with ron 
Thomas Watson. What? From Parks and Recreation. Oh. The guy who's a libertarian within the government. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've only seen a couple episodes of that over at um, You need Danny's to watch house. it. Um, Sounds good. Yeah, so he's talking about, like, say you... How many minutes we got on that thing? Twelve. Um, how many does it go? It goes about fifteen. Mm. Yeah. So... Um, hit it at the 13 mark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll hit it now. I'll just... So Ben Stone was talking about um, all the different ways. <laughs> <laughs> His beard mustache. Um, all the different ways to different levels of undermining the state. Um, um, all the way from... Uh, just being unproductive to being saboteur. A, a saboteur. And he also talked about not just if you work for the state, but like so they say you get a job for General Dynamics or Oshkosh Defense or one of these people. That freaks he, me out. He was talking about people like as they're building Snowden. equipment, <laughs> putting like... Um, I mean, who, who doesn't think Snowden's a hero? I mean. <laughs> putting like wires going in the wrong place and stuff like that. So that, so the so the question is, where do you stand on on that kind of stuff? Um, and then, uh, so obviously you're against doing productive work for the state, like plowing snow. What about what about being a teacher and undermining the state's goal to propagandize and brainwash the children the with by pre- slipping in some truth? The problem with that with the propaganda, the huge problem with that is that you will oh. be fired. Yeah, there's my. That's what you have to deliver the propaganda. The the only way that you could possibly get away with it is if I mean if you got a, a job as an educator and got tenure. Oh, like at a university yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah other like, than kind that, of what shock other, is. other than yeah. that, there's no way to do that because they'll just fire you instantly. Yeah, if, they, if you're my, if you're not towing the line of what they want you to to say, they'll fire you. That's why going after elected positions is better because they have to recall you. No. Wait till the next election. Yeah. So you at least have some time because the minute you speak some truth to the kid, the kid goes home, tells the parent, parent calls the school, you're fired the next day. You could easily get fired. Yeah. The um my one of my coworkers, he's um he's a t- trust he, me. I thought about doing that. I went for a semester <laughs> to become a teacher, and then I realized yeah. through the, after that semester, I was like. They're got, just gonna fucking fire me. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck am I wasting my time on this shit? Yeah. <laughs> you might be okay to do like a private school or something like no, that. Well, even then, even then. The problem is, Joe, like my coworker who's becoming or educating himself to become a teacher, he was telling me that the stipulations and the regulations of teaching, at least within the state of Michigan, I, mm-hmm. I imagine it probably applies at the at the national level. Is they micromanage the shit, right? Uh, like you have like like the amount of like chapters you have to complete in a week is mandated by law, and they tell you what chapters you have to complete by law. Oh wow! So there's a lot of micromanagement within it, and yes, James is correct. If you don't toe the line in that micromanagement, you're fired. Yeah, you're canned. I think it's so you're not philosophically against it. You just think it's, it's a it's, terrible it's, idea. It's, for it's, that. It's, I mean, it's not. Gonna it's work. not feasible. No, I, I think, think anytime you try to work for the state and have your own agenda, it's a pretty a slippery slope because you're always gonna. I don't care if you're a sheriff or a teacher or a snowplow guy who tries to break plows or whatever. There's always gonna be. <laughs> you also got to remember, you're not trying to change. This, you're trying to destroy it. Mm-hmm. Well, well, you got to keep that in mind. You're not trying to make anything good happen you're trying to fuck shit up while you can i'm actually a a proponent of the idea that if you make the state more comfortable for people they'll be less likely to want to get rid of it but you can just fuck shit up i understand that argument i've i've under i've no i'm I'm i've actually i've actually thought in in that taking your argument i've actually thought that it might actually be the most productive to vote for the greatest evil right every election just to make the state worse if voting worked it, well, and, and Ben Stone is the thing is with voting is that it really that it doesn't really matter because right. the the way the system works it's winner take all and so uh, let me ask you then do you just do you support Jeff's ambitions? Yeah, even though so you should explain who Jeff is. Jeff, 
I yeah, you should roll, yeah, because this, yeah. yeah, this is YouTube. They're not going to know who the fuck Jeff is. Okay, Jeff Woods is one of our friends. He's running for... Um, is Congress. it Congress? Con Congress. Federal Congress or Michigan Congress? Federal, Federal US. U.S. Congress. And U.S. Michigan Congress. He's a supposed principled anarchist, but he is running for congressman of the federal government. And, yeah, that's all I can really And the libertarian ticket. Hmm. He is running... Not with the goal of actually becoming a Congress person. He's running an education campaign. Yeah. See, the problem with that is that if he's filled out the paperwork, and let's, you know, let's be honest here. He probably won't win. But, <laughs> but, right. if, if he does. If he win, wins, he would probably take it and the 170 some thousand dollar paycheck that comes with that job. And, by implication, <sighs> it would probably... <laughs> Live he, off of those four years in Congress for the rest of his life. <laughs> he pretty, probably yeah, he would. would. Really, yeah. So to brutal. that to that end, it is I would argue it's hypocritical because if he did win and he took the money and he worked, he'd still be bound by laws within Congress. It's not to like do what? No, no. Look, Congress. No, but to, to do what? Yeah. Is, what is a congressman bound to do? Yeah. Nothing. They don't <laughs> even nothing. have to fucking no, no, no. show up. No, but no. They there literally, is no there accountability. Is literally no. nothing I, they I, have I, to do. I, they can just stay at home and beat off all day <laughs> and collect the check. I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure a couple of us literally have get some good nothing jobs to do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, he's probably going to hire us all as his aides. That's the thing he gets elected. I don't. <laughs> James, I don't disagree with you. But the problem is with that position is that you are basically, um, you aren't you aren't doing anything active to take it down. Yes, you can collect a hundred and seventy grand a year, fine. But what is that? That's a no, drop it's, it's in the not, bucket. And and um, for yeah. not that's not a drop in the bucket for Jeff. Though. No, I meant. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> he's talking about hurting the government. No, it's not going to hurt the government. No, no, no. no that, that's going to do nothing. And he's to not going to even. If but he, he could if he went there and he voted no on everything. He could prevent stuff from no, getting. No, he couldn't. Passed. Yes, he could. One there's a lot of, of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that comes down to one or two votes. He couldn't. No, look. If he even showed up every day and voted no every day, even what if he gave really effect. good? Speeches? And he could. He could. Yeah, he could give speeches. It's a hell he of a could, he could get up on. It's a hell of a soapbox to be put on yeah. CNN every day, saying "fuck these guys, we don't need them." A soapbox, abolish the state but every day on CNN. Yeah, the soapbox is cute if you want. <laughs> if you want actual, functional, active, let's practical get, let's, change. Let's get real. How many anarchists did Ron Paul create? He created a lot. Of Tens of no, thousands. he created a lot. Yeah, Tens but of at thousands. least Ron Paul would sit there and say. I'm going to try and filibuster this, but he did. He, the thing is with Ron Paul, and as much as I like him. No, he's a douche. He's a paleo conservative. No, he's not I, even an anarchist. I, but, I, look, I like Ron Paul, My, but I see the same pattern with Jeff, if, he, if Jeff got to that level, is that he'd be bound by the rules and he would. I think, you're, not I think you're having a problem of understanding what these rules are that he's bound to. He's only bound to the Constitution. That's it. And they, uh, you know, everybody completely ignores the Constitution. Every, you know what? Uh, and he, he does not it? have to do anything. Yes, but there are rules and laws within Congress. They won't let... There are times where they won't let people filibuster just because they didn't fill out the proper documentation. So they dismiss the filibuster. So Jeff, if he were to quote-unquote filibuster, which would be nice... You but can't I kinda, filibuster as a representative that's in the Senate. Oh, he's, Senate, yeah. he's, yeah. he's running as... He's not running Congress, as a senator. Congress, it's Congress, not yeah. a senator. Well, House of Representatives. House of Representatives. He's got a well, uh, when I think Congress, Congress, I think I both Congress. I think, <laughs> I think no, he's running, senators he's running for, and he's the House. Running for House of Representatives. Oh, so he's yeah. basically, he's a limp dick. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, then I, but, I have no comment. You know, I think the, the best thing that our government ever did, probably in my lifetime, was whatever it was a couple of years ago when the, it was shut down. I was like, why can't they just stay shut down forever? You know, they got like well, two million non-essential people. And the the other million that were still working were not essential. I would have liked to have seen them actually shut it down, though, because what yeah, they but I mean, mean, what they did in the last shutdown, they actually had to hire extra people. Another to thing, close down things that would otherwise not be closed. Another thing Jeff could do if he got elected to be House of Representatives <clears throat> is the same strategy that the those sovereign citizens take in court, and that's to just fill the court up with so much work that they're just like fuck it, you know. When they, then they think that the documents they're filing actually did a fucking thing because those sovereign citizens are fucking stupid. But if you uh, if he goes in there and every fucking day he's introduced a whole bunch of just bullshit, 
a whole bunch of just bullshit shit that has to go through committee that has to do all this shit and that clogs up the work and makes it harder for shit to get done too so he can just interview really some Jeff bunch would of do that. Yes. yeah why not you really think Jeff doesn't okay Jeff will take something that he has and he'll just Does take he... it to the crazy extreme you know this does he so, have the work ethic? Did you? Yeah, that's what I'm really wondering. <laughs> Did you really think he has the work ethic for it? Yes. Really? Have really? you seen his work inside the Libertarian Party? Mm, not really. Okay. He did become the chair of the. Yeah, he's vice chair of the Libertarian yeah. Party of Livingston but that, County. What does that mean? Like, you know how much work that took for him to accomplish that? <laughs> oh, he filled out a few documents. No, it was way more complicated. Than he that. had to do political. He shit. had to do a whole lot of political shit. And for him to account for him to, to, it, to for him yeah it was, it, was, <laughs> it was fucking crazy but he could he could uh, do shit he could just introduce a bunch of nonsense that's fine I wouldn't I mean I don't I at best what I can see Jeff accomplishing in the Congress is he's not even gonna elect it anyway this is a really stupid conversation <laughs> it is it is it's an entertaining conversation but you know what though even I mean there is, is like if, if both of the Democrat and Republican candidate got like convicted of a crime like a week before no that wouldn't matter they'd still be able to be alive something it's... like that there's there's a possibility if they both got assassinated or something you know the day before but even just Not running for Congress anything at all gives you that so far I shouldn't have said that no <laughs> I was that was that <laughs> look was, at like, a really bad talking. thing to say for you what were you think? running oh, for shit. before um I ran for the same seat just run for okay when you were running for that seat and we had the fucking bullshit rally I got tons of news coverage off that, too. Yeah. That, that alone made running for office worth it. It's just the... I had, the people, I had ABC New York contacting me to do an interview about police brutality. So we should you probably know, say what the fucking like, bullshit rally was, just briefly. What was that well, the, the, you know. I, I, uh, the, This is fucking bullshit rally. It was just a rally, uh, a free speech rally, because there was uh, a kid that was fined $200 for disorderly conduct. Because he said, this is fucking bullshit uh, when he was getting kicked out of the park by the police. So I held a rally there that got national media attention because it was James Weeks, libertarian candidate for, for Congress, holding the rally. So it got national media coverage. You got a soapbox. Yeah. yeah. And the police were surrounding us that whole time that we were there, but they didn't interact with us at all. They were like a block around us. There were like four or it's five I made cops a, I made driving in circles around us. I made a spectacle out of the whole thing just by yeah. just by having it be. If it was just James Weeks, Cash for Gold sign guy, <laughs> holding a, this is fucking bullshit rally. Would I have had? Any, I wouldn't even had the local media no, cover it. They, no one would have gave a fucking shit. But because it was James Weeks. Libertarian candidate for Congress holding the this is fucking bullshit rally, national media coverage. And I think it might have been show. international, actually. You might want to. I think RT picked it up. Even if there was an ordinance against swearing and profanities and obscene language, that ordinance would be unconstitutional as ruled by multiple Supreme Court rulings, including Cohen v. California. So any ordinance that says that we cannot use whatever language we see fit to use to express ourselves is a violation of the Constitution. This is an example of how the Constitution has failed us. As Lysander Spooner famously said in his essay, No Treason, A Constitution of No Authority, the Constitution really be one thing or another. This much is certain, that it has either allowed a government such as this to exist, or it has been powerless to prevent it. In either case, it is unfit to exist. Woo! Go Spooner! Yeah! <laughs> Drop out <your> bombs! <laughs> this case of abuse of authority Sign high five. may not seem like that big of a deal to many people. But it truly is. It's a symptom of a much larger problem we have today. A problem with people that think that using violence to curb other people's behavior is okay. We have a problem with a group of people who claim the 
right to rule over other people and violently impose this rule on people through force, fraud, and coercion. I don't have to do any at all. Such as this example of Colin Anderson in the park enjoying his nice day and they decided to coerce him into leaving the park and then extort money from him. The police officers are guilty of a criminal offense. The police officers have committed a crime. The police officers should be in jail for what they have done. They robbed a man of $200 for absolutely no reason than simply because voicing his opinion. And they have no right to do so. I'm James Weeks, the second candidate, Libertarian candidate for U.S. Congress, and I approve this message. I just, like I, like I said earlier, I am not sold on the soapbox theory. It I, Look, don't get me wrong, I think Ron Paul has done magnificent wonders, but if you look at the other soapboxers, Gary Johnson, Rand Paul to some extent. Rand Paul is not even close to an anarchist, though. He's, he's a neocon pretending to be a libertarian. Early Rand Paul was very libertarian. No, <laughs> no he like it. He was more libertarian than now, but he no, was never no, really he libertarian. Never, he never was. He was never even a little bit libertarian. I just, I don't know if, honestly, like, and James... No one even called him a libertarian until he told people he wasn't a libertarian. It was a brilliant little scam he pulled there, saying, I don't know why people are calling me a libertarian when no one was calling him a libertarian. James, like, I agree with, like, I like <clears throat> the theory of the soapbox, and Ron Paul has done a great job with it, but when I look at all the other libertarian candidates that have been kind of, like, kind of put in the news, Gary Johnson, a handful of others... I sit there like, you know, they never really made much of a splash. Ron Paul was the only one, and he had, he had it took him, what, 40 years <laughs> to make a splash? You know what, though? I don't think it really took him 40 years. I think what happened was, and, and Ron Paul will say this himself, I think he's right about this, that a change happened in the populace, and the the, he's been saying the exact same thing for 40 years. Social media. It, it wasn't that he changed or that he... Oh, yeah, it's definitely His message media. got out it's any better. Yeah, it's I that think people it started paying attention to him. And like you said, social media, that was a big thing. That brings up a whole nother topic when you say social media. And maybe we'll talk about this later, but I'm just going to mention it. Um, and that is the revolution in communication technology that we're doing right now we are taking the um state's ability to completely control the message by providing media outlets like the one that we're doing right now i'm not well i'll be i'll be honest with you i'm not certain that um i'm fairly well i'm fairly certain the state if it really wanted to could squash um freedom of speech fairly easily at least within our country well they are in the process of doing that, and they probably will the, 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 fuck up the internet pretty bad. The, the, the problem in, uh, oh, in the very near future. Trying to cut you off there. Um, well, the problem with that is that the freedom of speech, maybe because the wording is so simple in the Constitution, it's <clears throat> one of the few things that's left in America as far as freedom goes that the masses believe in. Uh, and no, no, no. look at the left. Look at the left. You no, got, no, look at the right. You got <laughs> you have the left. Look at both of them. <laughs> right, look, you got you look got safe government. spaces. You've got political correctness. You have free speech zones. When I was holding the this is fucking bullshit rally, it wasn't the left saying fuck this shit. It was the right. I don't disagree with you. You know. When well, cause it was when you bullshit. when you have anything involving or anything, cops, any yeah. criticism of the cops, any criticism of the anything military, sacred. anything, anything sacred you know, cows, yeah. it's they want you instant jail. Yep. You know, the 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 right is the protector of the state when it comes. They don't want any speech against the state. Uh, the left, they maybe get all emotional and say, "Oh man, you called me bad names," but. They're not I saying, how dare you uh, uh, 
criticize government. You know? It depend. No, it depends on who's in power. I've I've or argued with a lot of I've argued with a lot of leftists that have sat there and said you can't criticize Obama, and they'll even sit there and say if you criticize him, you're a fucking traitor. So no, I disagree. <laughs> well, that actually comes from the right. They they picked that up from the right. That was something that they picked up from the right during George. It Bush. doesn't well, matter if they picked it up. Or that, that was actually what would uh, from uh, Abe Lincoln who said that anyone who criticized the Civil War was a traitor. I can't believe you even buy into this false dichotomy of the left and the right. No, it's, it's, not, that, it's not that we're buying into it. It's just we're trying to be historically accurate here. But they changed the definition of the, the left and the right. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I don't disagree with you. Like the, the right in the 19, 1860s was extremely leftist in comparison to where it is now. They were the ones that were saying, let's free these people that are different from us. They weren't the right, they were the left then. Yeah. And what I mean Does is that the Republicans mean... had leftist leanings. Well, yeah. Yes, that's yeah. all I'm establishing now. Well, there's there's no left wing left in America. We have I two right wing parties. I would say that there's no right wing left in America. We have two exactly. left wing parties. Well, no, from the historical left right oh. spectrum of the left being. Where, where left right comes from, it was first to go to that. All right. Where the left right comes from is from the, after the, with the French Revolution when they recreated their stupid government. Um, <laughs> you had the people who wanted who were the the royal royalist, the conservative type, the one who wanted to maintain monarchy, aristocracy. Uh, they they were the ones who were on the right. The people who wanted to change the revolutionaries, they were on the left. That's where it comes from. Both. Uh, Bastiat and Proudhon, they sat on the left side of the thing. Whereas you'd have the, you know, so that... So the issues of the left That's where the right left-right right comes yeah, from. Yeah. And what we have is we don't have, we have two parties that want to maintain state and power and grow state power. So we have I two right-wing parties. Yeah, yeah. Where I was thinking of the left as more communistic... State communistic. Well, that that was like and, a hijacking um, of the left. Yeah, and we have two parties. But they get hijacked that are, yeah. all the yeah. time. They don't really. Well, so we were, we were thinking the same thing. I just had different different. Uh, well, you weren't looking. Yeah, you weren't looking. We, we, I didn't yeah. look far enough. You back didn't look far enough. Just, yeah, because that's where the left history. right comes from. I mean, yeah. the classical liberal yeah. was, you know, I would have considered would've, myself up until recently. It would have been a classical liberal. Would have sat on the left. I like Bastiat. Uh, yeah. I don't know about the classical liberal. The reason why is because the classical liberal, and I, the, it seems to me the classical liberal um, had an orientation towards uh, laissez-faire, whereas right. the left breaching out from the actual classical liberal and becoming "quote unquote" liberals, they're they've erred on the way of more. Uh, socialistic type of behavior, or right? It evolved. Well, those are social, more social liberals. Yeah. I mean, basically, they took they took over the left. Is what happened. But basically, the left they, that we have yeah. now took over something that was more um, collective. No, we are the, the collective took over something that was more freedom oriented. That's what I'm saying. Basically, okay. it seems yeah. to me. I mean the. The right believes in supposedly economic freedom, and the left supposedly brings in believes in social freedom, which is all well, it's, bullshit. It's all bullshit. Well, they get yeah, the yeah. social freedom. That's probably a remnant from when it was. Well, yeah. The classical when, you, when you look at today's modern left in America, you see that they have some little bit of freedom in there when it comes to social. That's issues. what I mean. It's probably a, it's a remnant. little bit hiding in there. Or, you know, they don't. Rep- they don't quite want to execute gays, but they don't want to give them all their freedom. Yeah, you know. And, and so just a, just a little bit. They got a little bit of freedom where they're not quite. But if you look at the left, but you look at the right, and they want to kill everybody. You know, oh man, you're yeah. But the left is just political, <laughs> political no, correctness. I don't know. Is so James, I don't know. like I listen to <laughs> the same thing. We're arguing about uh, like which one. Well, the, the the bad parts of which one? <laughs> they're both <laughs> they're like, evil. That's why I don't even believe. No, no, you, you are correct. I just I when James. It's but, a silly argument. Yeah. Just to yeah. counter, like when I listen to the left talk about like people who are entrepreneurs and even like they sit there and blame corporations for everything, and I said they're like, well, a lot of corporations start out just you know as 
a single mom and pop. Mom and pop shop, yeah. yeah. Corporations are fictitious creations of the state. Oh, you got him started on corporations. Okay. We could do like no, a whole video. I, I, I don't really want to that, get into that too much. Let's, but let's, but let's my, save my, that for my, another time. My contention is when I listen to a lot of left, it's basically they want to execute anyone that makes over 200 grand a year. And I just sit there like, you guys have some serious... like. No, but they may... Uh, Kind of sound like it, but the right wing. No, they really do they sound really, like now, it. Hillary Clinton definitely does not sound like that. Bernie Sanders does. Maybe Bernie Sanders, maybe, but like Hillary Clinton does not sound like that. But Hillary, a, Hillary, Hillary, is, Hillary sounds to me like she's just if she got elected, she'd just be like Margaret Thatcher. That's all, all the no, same. No, I mean, no. they're all a bunch of yeah. fascists. Yeah, that, that really, both but, parties are fascists. Actually, I believe that all government is fascist. But well, I believe that the the the, the bullshit <laughs> fucking. Democrat and Republican, it's all bullshit. They all keep making laws, and maybe they make slightly different laws this period, and then they make, but they keep making laws, and we keep having more and more laws, and but we keep losing more and more freedom. When you have a, the control the Republican front runner, literally campaigning. On killing children of suspected terrorists, <laughs> and he's going up in the polls. Campaigning that we should kill women and children. Yeah, you know, like get them. <laughs> like, and that—that's what they want to vote for. And you, I, you know, if you had anyone talking about killing people on the, I can't imagine that. Solid. I can't. I can't imagine it. It's just. No, they're all look. They're look, crazy. All government. They're is... crazy. I mean, the Democrats sound crazy, but the Republicans are fucking nuts. You know, <laughs> well, fucking nuts. I used to say a Democrat, or a I, Republican I, was just a a Demo a Republican was just a good Democrat. I know. I've decided is I'm I'm getting the fuck out of the USA if fucking Trump gets elected. I'm gone. I think well, he's the only president I've ever thought that. I, I've been like, oh, I cannot stand I, under this. Dude, guy. I've been thinking about that since um, early Obama. I've been thinking about moving to Chile if I could just pay the fucking exit tax. Yeah, they've raised that to like twenty five hundred. I found that. No, yeah. it's about six grand. Six grand. Yeah. It's, yeah. Whoa. It's I, about. No, I think 60, it's twenty twenty three. I, I just like, read I something see. on Facebook. I was reading up. Oh, that, that's an excellent Maybe it's forty six hundred. It, it really doesn't matter. What I've a couple at, grand to leave yeah. the country. Well, it's not to leave. That's unless you have money. Here, yeah. if you have money, then you're here's nice here's food. what you get to buy for 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 that um that twenty five hundred or six thousand or whatever it is. Um, what you get to buy for that is the renouncing of your citizenship. You can leave without doing that, and as long as you make less than about $96,000 a year, you don't have to pay any taxes to the federal government. And, Are you um, sure it's 96? No, it's less than that. No, it was like 96 last I time I looked, which was back when I was dating that doctor. you're outside the country... Yeah, you're outside the country and you're earning your income really outside. Off. It's it's not off. This sounds really off. It goes up every year, so I don't have the Run exact that figure. By me again. It's about 96. ninety six. Last time I checked was two thousand thirteen, and that's about what it was. And it goes up every year. I checked because I was dating that. Well, ninety six hundred dollars a year. No, ninety six thousand. Ninety six thousand. Ninety six thousand dollars a year. That does not sound right. Um, it's it's It'll right. It's on, it's on the IRS. Be a lot more expatriates. Yeah. It, no, no, it's on the IRS website. Well, because you still have to pay income tax to whatever country it is that you're living in. We're about to hit the 13 mark. All right. Go ahead and give it a quick reset. I'm going to get a beer, too. Fuck. We're back. Stupid IP. We took a little break there, and um, I looked up the number. The first $100,800 of your income as of 2015... It goes up every year. So the last time I looked was a few years ago. Hmm. Um, the first hundred thousand eight hundred dollars of income you earn as an expat is not taxed by the IRS. So as long as your income is what under about Social that, Security? That's so about social no, there's, there's no Social Security on foreign earn income. No. Okay. Hmm. So uh. as long as you're earning less than that, you don't necessarily have to renounce in order to escape the. The, the whole tax leviathan of the United States. I think that's very um, generous of our masters. <laughs> it's very I mean, nice of them to yeah, tax yeah, Obviously, if you, escape, they loosen the if, you escape, around us. if you escape your servitude... It was a little bit of a longer leash. <laughs> yeah, if you escape your servitude, you, you, you only have to pay me. Definitely, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty long leash, man. I always, I've always said that, and this is before I heard this recently, that uh, 
you know, taxation is just a kinder and gentler form of slavery. Yeah. I don't know. That's why. That's what I was alluding to earlier when Joe was it's like working for slavery with extra steps. That's well, what I, I live in a society. It's, it's, we're, we're all just slaves, but there's just. I said that like when the first Bush, Bush was in office, it's just a kinder, gentler form of slavery. Because he used to say it was a kinder, gentler form of something. But well, like yeah. Vermin Supreme, he's a kinder, gentler form of fascism. Who? What? Vermin Supreme. Who's Vermin? I got like the boot Vermin on his Supreme. head. Yeah, he's yes. awesome. He's the guy that. Yeah. A, oh, kind, yeah. a kindler, gentler fascism. Is that what he friendly, says? Friendly fascism. Yeah. <laughs> not like that Dick yeah, Trump. Not, uh, <laughs> mandatory. Not like Trump. Yeah, he's got mandatory <laughs> hey, toothbrushing laws. That, that comes back to my earlier point that all We're going to have to do that like when Trump gets elected. We're going to have to like go to these big rallies and... I don't like that you're even doing that. It makes me. I know. I don't like that. <laughs> there was a picture of the gross. Queen Mother doing that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they should try to suppress it. Well, you it. know what the uh, kids, I'm sure you've heard this before, and uh, the Pledge of Allegiance? Mm. You know yeah, what they, they all get it. That's where it comes from. Yeah. yeah. It came from the United States. Oh, well, it's the Roman salute. Oh, it's it goes, yeah. it goes even further back. The oh no! I'm, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking. Well, in the modern era, that that's where it was brought about. It was uh, in the yeah, those States. damn Nazis. That's, they, not, that's not where the Nazis. They got screwed from. up the Jaguar too. You know what the Jaguar used to be called? Before World pre World War Two, they were called the SS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it! I have to change the name. <laughs> well, that's like they fucked up Archer with ISIS. What's that? The television show Archer. Yeah, I know, but what did ISIS? Say? There, there ISIS, was, is there. ISIS was their organization. Oh, it was there their are corporation. Bis- there, yeah, there their are... corporation. Oh. Their, their, their <laughs> private spy agency was called ISIS. <laughs> nice. There's also some businesses out there that are called ISIS, and uh, one of them had like I think it had like a window broken, they like egged or something. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. What a stupid name for a terrorist organization, though. No, it had. It was the Islamic oh. State. Didn't the U.S. government they keep changing name the name something? of it? No. Well, now it's just Islamic State. It started out the Islamic State. In what is this? ISIL, Iraq and ISIL, Syria. ISIL, yeah. The Islamic ISIL, State in Syria. ISIL, 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 but it's actually not. It's, 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 it's this is just the American version of it. Like right. it's it's That's like, what I'm thinking. Isn't this like a, just a CIA some name weird or something? fucking stupid? I can't. To, sh- to see sh- something, you can probably look it up on your shit. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to fucking say it, but it doesn't. It doesn't even start with an I. Nice. But they, so they're just an American name. Yeah, ISIS is just their 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 American name. Of course. Yeah. They needed something easy to say on the news. Well, yeah, that's what it is. You know. <laughs> it does have a well, nice yes, ring to it. I'm sure you've seen this meme on Facebook. I don't buy it, but you know, fuck it. Um. The girl from Sandy Hook, who's oh yeah. Do you guys give any validity to that? No. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, love the, I love her memes. <laughs> I love Grace her memes saying. so much. <laughs> <laughs> I love her memes so much. Are you much. talking about the I saw, I saw one. Yeah. 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 San yeah. Bernardino. Yeah. San Bernardino. <laughs> and she's on the phone going, I can't talk now. I'm in Paris. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That stuff is wonderful, though. But, like, I see all there, it is funny though that they find a girl who looks almost just like her. Every Every, everywhere, everywhere they find someone. But I mean, she's a very average-looking girl. Yeah, she is. She's, she's a brunette very, with long she's hair. Very average. White and yeah, uh, she's yeah, white brunette with long hair who is skinny. I mean, you could go to a mall and yeah. find someone that looks. Just the like one at San Bernardino was yeah. extremely blurry. So, yeah. I just, but when I saw it, I was like, it does look like her. But, uh, I feel like I love the I love the memes of her. Oh yeah, there, like, was, there was one. The I, there was one. There was one with uh, with the one with the guy riding the bike and he sticks the the uh, spoke in the thing. Right? Oh, Donald, yes, Donald, yes, Trump, yes. Donald Trump riding the bike and he sticks the spoke in there. He's going fucking Mexicans in there. She is on her phone going. Ah! Yes. It's so good. I love I love that same meme, but it's with feminist. Where it's a female riding on her bike and she <laughs> puts the, the Is she playing the patriarchy? <laughs> <laughs> the best one though, of the course. best one is George Bush riding it. 
and George Bush riding the bike, and the spokes are the twin towers. <laughs> and he sticks the plane in. He goes fucking terrorists, and then they gave it a second break. He goes, let's invade Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Mexico on 9-11 and I told my brother-in-law, I go, I go, I don't know where, but we're going to war. I just, they just knew it. I mean. Yeah. No, when I was, uh, I was in high school, I was in uh, 10th grade or 11th grade. Puerto Vallarta. I was in, um, I was in accounting class and I had this guy who sat next to me and he was Arabic. I forget his name. Abdul, I think it was. <laughs> I think I think that's right. It was I think up. you're just being racist. That's like saying I had a black guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm pretty sure it was Abdul. Abdul I looked over Sam. at him. I looked over at him like, what did your cousins do? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and we both had a laugh, and then like the the class ended and the rest of the school ended, and. Um, I Too just, soon? I just, I was like, I didn't really think it's, you would say that about I, I, really didn't, I really didn't think it was that racist Plane or anything. was just running just, into the tower. Is this is too, too, too soon? <laughs> As it's running. Tower, the towers haven't even collapsed yet. Did you scoot your, your chair a little bit that way? Me? Because I think you were getting a little back of your head-ish for, okay. the, for the video. But, like, um, it was, um, it was funny because he just, like, looked at me kind of like, Kind of like, oh, it's funny, but I'm slightly offended. <laughs> Aren't you Arabic? No. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> I told you like a dozen times what I am. I'm just he's fucking in, with you. He's an Afro-Latina. Uh, Afro-Latino? You have an Afro? Doesn't look like an Afro. No. Uh-huh. My hair is too, too, not too, it's not curly enough to be an Afro. Oh, okay. Uh, he's just Latino. Yes. Thank you. From, from what country? I'm from Warren. No, Warren. <laughs> you asked what country I was from. <laughs> Your recent ancestors. What country I'm were you? recent what ancestors. Country? I'm Poland. See, I paid attention to you. Also all over Europe. Not very much. Oh, anyway, speaking of all these other countries and things, you were talking about before moving to Chile. Chile. So... What is it about Chile that attracts you? Economically, they're very similar to the United States in terms of like economic liberties. Yeah. But um, w- the fundamental difference, if you were to go by like law by law, they're very similar. But I, I thought you were trying to escape the United States. Yeah. No, no, I, no. Here's the thing: the United States carries a shit ton of debt, as you know. Right. And it's facing very strong economic headwinds for probably the next 20 years. Chile doesn't have that. Mm. Chile respects private property. It respects a lot of the same laws that we have, but they're not fundamentally in terms of economics in the same shitter as we are. They don't have the social security system we have for one. No, well, they don't. They've a, got there's a, a there's a number of South America in general, even Central America, South America seems to be well, there's a lot of Probably kleptocracy in South a America. A lot of Chile is actually well, uh, all, all of that area seems speaking. better to go. Well, the thing is, Argent like the big countries like Argentina, Venezuela, and Brazil. The Venezuela big power, is in a big shithole right now. Yeah. The big powerhouses outside of Chile are they they rotate between socialism and like capitalism and you can see it like every 20 years yeah. they, they they struggle they have to their currency collapses and they replace it about every 15 years yeah, in Argentina. yeah. but chile um, has consistently like since the 70s been since fairly the capitalistic <laughs> yeah. and since while their system is not perfect they have like privatized um privatized busing <laughs> they attempted to go socialist on the busing and it screwed everything up and then they reprivatized it. well they privatized um retirement yeah, yeah, 1980, some, I think it was. I did a paper on that. Yeah, when I was in graduate school. And the returns on retirement have been pretty good. Now yeah. the government has recently, from what I understand, has tried to socialize it further. Now here's the thing: there, because of the crash in 2008. Yeah. But at the depths of the crash of 2008, your return on the money you invested in 1980 was orders of magnitude better than if you were paying. 
um, if you were being robbed by the Social Security Administration in 1980 in the United States compared to what they were willing to rob somebody See, else I, to pay I you for. I still want to, um, I'd want to steer clear of Chile, though, just because of Pinochet. Well, <laughs> no, my, my, my contention is, is that... Just because that, that was their dude. Because that, because that happened. Everybody yeah. in there, South there's America no, had, There's no place on Earth. No, that was pretty bad. Wait. I mean, if, no, you were, was, if you were a political dissident, you got killed. Like, that's I the mean, kind of place that was. You live in a place where an entire continent of people was almost wiped from the earth. I don't want to live here. <laughs> I don't want to go to where? another well, place. Where? Where? Well, James, <laughs> Somalia is like... I'm place. trying to go to Somalia! <laughs> He's the leader I'm of the I'm trying to go to Somalia! If you don't like it, why don't you just get the fuck out? <laughs> I'm trying to go there. They don't have roads in Somalia, dumbass. Yeah, they do like I got me a free Somalia project to prove it. You know, so <laughs> we need to get you a free Somalia project. I actually, I have a, I have a plane ticket over there. I'm trying to find people who are willing to send to, you to send me there. Who I've got a plane go? ticket so far and a, a passport. Kickstarter. So why don't you go? You so, got those. I need more Just than that. What do you need? You need a plane ticket? I need plane no, no. ticket, passport. I need we to need be to able to have money. I'll broken. give you. I'll give you like yeah. ten years of Somalian figured, wages. Figured, I'll give you a hundred bucks right now. <laughs> I, figured, I need about twenty grand, and I'm good to go. So a hundred dollars is like ten years. We of should wages send you on a recon mission. He's, there we yeah, go. he's down. Yeah. You already have the plane ticket and the passport. How do you have mm -hmm. a plane ticket? Why do you need permission from the government? No, no, he's needed to, need to fly. <laughs> he's needed to fly. He, he need, oh, for the passport. <laughs> you probably don't people. need permission from the government to go there. You only need permission to get back. That's like no, because you need because when you're flying, you're, yeah, it's kind of hard need a lot of stuff. to get international fucking tickets. All right, I got you. Yeah, because I, I know Pete yeah. and Amanda went to Mexico. Because I'm not going to just ID. be. It's there's no. I'm, I'm, I don't think mm -hmm. there's fucking Flint to Somalia airplane yeah, rides. You gotta go. No, to... I'm going to have to go somewhere and then somewhere. So yeah, I you don't probably... think there's any direct flights to Somalia yeah, no. <laughs> from anywhere in the you United States. You probably got to fly to Europe and then, yeah. like, sneak in. Well, James, I guess the thing is with Chile, and I agree. I think I would much Chile rather go to Somalia, marry a Somalian woman, get into a Zir clan, and be good to go. My, my, my point is, is that so. if I want to That's maintain... If I want to maintain a similar lifestyle in... A similar lifestyle? Why not a free lifestyle in Somalia? He's talking about economic level. Yeah. I, you can have an economic... He's have, talking about have stuff there. being able to in eat fact, good food. In fact, Somalia has place. the best communications infrastructure of any this, African I, nation. I know, I know that. You know, they're, I kind of uh, wonder how their water infrastructure works. Well, right now, well, that's the piracy. That's why you got the piracy. You know, because you have the these you know they don't toxic radio yeah, waste. Yeah, that's what the piracy is in response to. Is the pirates are the good guys? The media wants to sell you that the pirates are the bad I don't guys. Be scared of the I'm pirates. Not, I'm not the piracy that is in response to the multinational corporations that are dumping toxic waste in Somalia fishing waters. Uh, my 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 contention is. Yes, that may be true. I have no disagreement on that. In thing. fact, I think I might what do we have a on pirate time, Danny? I'll be the one white pirate. <laughs> Red beard! <laughs> all right, he's going to reset the clock. Oh, you moved the camera, so make sure it's pointed at all of us. Is it? Boy, that red beard comment was pretty like... <laughs> Is it? Is it pointed yeah. at all of us? Yeah, it looks good. Restart it. All right. I'm going to grab another beard, guys. All right. Yeah, so I, I, I've been... I've actually... I got... I need to get more set up. But I got some of the stuff You're actually that... semi serious about this. What language yeah. do they speak in Somalia? Somali. Somali. Really have their own language. I started learning it. Like uh, I know some of it. Like one is time. It, how do you learn it? Stuff. Is there software? There's, there's apps out there on the phone. There's uh, apps. yeah, I've been uh, but <laughs> I've been kinda I'm I'm kinda going back and forth right now in between. I was just talking to someone actually the other day. I know somebody about who's going been there to Panama. Um, and Panama seems like a good place to go, oh, just just to get the fuck out of here real quick. Yeah. And Spanish is a lot fucking easier to learn than fucking Somali. Is Somalia similar to like? Um, yeah. Is it like kind of like one of the true like African type languages with yeah, like all the clicks yeah, and stuff? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> or, or what kind of language is it? What's it related to? Anything we were familiar know. with, like Arabic? Um, I don't remember. I don't. There's like. Uh, Yeah, Somalian, a uh, romance language. No. He's going for the tomato beer. 
So you have, you know, so I've been, I've been actually looking at, uh, after talking to someone on Twitter, actually, uh-huh. I've been looking at Panama, though, more recently. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like a $200 ticket to get down there. Really? It's got Plane ticket? It's going to be like yeah, 400 actually, No. Really? No, it's only like 200 Then no. you can get an apartment down there for like 200 US a month. I saw... And all income derived from outside of Panama is not subject to tax in Panama. Uh-huh. So I can start something online. And uh, so you can get. So I could get one of those. One thing. of those. I could just get you know get a passport. Be down there, for two you know, two hundred three hundred bucks a passport. You want to be a bucks. stateless man, and then I can be down there. I think and that's what, a bad with, idea. With Panama's immigration laws and stuff, you can be down there just as a visitor for six months. I just have to leave and come back every six months. Yeah, my yeah. dad did that for a so, while. So that's kind of what Jeff Berwick does. He's not a. Resident of Mexico, so I could get an apartment down there, yep. leave every six months, mm-hmm. come back. Yeah, and they got hotels down Gosh. there I can work at. They got a lot of Excuse vacation me. stuff, so I'd be able to you know get a job at a vacation, maybe work online, uh, do do like those you know because they got those websites that are Bitcoin jobs and shit like that where you can do like edit someone's paper for them or proofread something or you know make a graphic for them or do this that for the other thing for Bitcoin. <sighs> So I can do that and just be down there in Panama like that. So that's my, like, plan if Donald Trump gets elected. <laughs> well, I watched a, um, like a documentary that. or a show, whatever you want to call it, on these guys well, who... If it's starting to, to look like he's getting elected, I'm going to have to start selling everything and trying to they, Bitcoin. What, what, they were, what is going to change if Trump gets elected? No. Ain't, ain't a damn thing going to change. Oh, are you kidding me? That dude's a straight-up Nazi. So? You think it's, I mean, look at what happened with, yeah. <laughs> I ain't living in Mexico. why do you care? You're Wait, white. I'm, I'm more interested in the Panama thing. <laughs> you know, right, yeah. I'm an anarchist. What happens, this motherfucker What happened to, to political it. dissidents All right, I'm, I'm in more, fucking Nazi Germany? What do the Nazis do? Pl- the same thing Pino He has a stroke and can't speak. I'm, I'm more deported. interested in the Panama thing, because I actually watched a show on this. These guys, they were like professionals in New York. Um, they had some kind of office job making, you know, eighty, hundred thousand a year or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's like minimum they, wage in New York. Yeah, it's not that much in New no, York. And they, so they, they the so they didn't have a, any. They weren't building any wealth. They were making eighty, hundred thousand dollars a year. Panama but too. another thing, just not to interrupt, but they only have a two point seven percent unemployment rate in Panama. Nice. It's really nice. like you cannot, you can. Yeah. I, I don't think it's impossible to have a job there. So it's not like these guys moved to Panama with a whole bunch of wealth. Right. Um, well, yeah, coming from New York. Coming from New York. They were, 80, 80, they were young. Right. They, they were making decent money, but they were spending it on but the But I guess that would York. depend on where they live in New York, too. Right. Yeah. But anyway, so they moved down to Panama with no plan whatsoever. And they rented a houseboat for um, lodge, uh, lodging. That's where they lived. Right. So they're like... That's badass as fuck. They're parked like out on the bay somewhere living in this houseboat. And they could be broke anywhere. Why not be broke in a houseboat? Yeah, they were broke. They were broke in a houseboat, <laughs> and they seriously? took up. I don't know. They were just doing some kind of bullshit jobs. I don't even remember what they were, and they started just for shits and giggles. They started brewing beer, and it took off. It took off, and they ended up with a brewery, like straight well, up. Like, maybe that's not a bad idea. I can take my apple pie recipe. You down could there. totally do that. Um, oh, James, I need to... You are Ameri- as forever. American as apple pie. <laughs> yeah, you ginger bastard. Apple pie, the drink um, that... Stop you, snitching. ...that um, is, is made with delicious... Yeah, stop um, snitching. Stop snitching. <laughs> Down low. Organic yeah. Stop snitching. <laughs> God damn it, Joe. <laughs> Filter. Yeah, that might not be a... Uh, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's making noise. Oops. That might not be a bad idea to go down there. I mean, I'm sure that you can find like a bunch it. of stuff you can do down there. But what I like that I was hearing about Panama that I really like is that outside of Panama income, so as if you're making money online or you're making money somewhere else and bringing it in there, they don't tax you at all. Oh, you know, so the, you could well, live in Panama. You know the hottest and like, uh, earn money on the internet. And, and then they tax free. That yes. Noriega guy. That's I think, what I know. Like. I think it was the president after Noriega. He had this like half black, half Chinese girlfriend. Also, you're living in a fucking. She was like the hottest woman I ever seen. Why would you want to live there? It's Panama. 
mean, you had North Paint Asia, a red. bunch of drugs. What about all the tropical weather, huh? Dude, why would you want to live in the Malaria. tropics? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're tropics. Oh, I love the tropics. Actually, the real tro- Have you guys ever been to Central America? No. No, I'm a white guy. Okay. <laughs> I was born and raised in Michigan. It's. <laughs> I've been to Okinawa. Have you ever, have you ever been to Florida? I've been, yeah, I've been to Florida. Yeah, never how been long to Florida. have you stayed in Florida? Like a vacation. Like what? A couple. So are you days, telling us weeks? how nasty it is? It gets hot really hot and humid. fucking humid. Like yeah. torturously humid. Yeah. I was in Okinawa in September. And that is and why they invented sweaty. water to swim in. They also have air conditioning. Hot you want to swim? And and swim. Like you want to swim in dirty tub. ocean water yeah. that's salty? Go oh, ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I love dirty ocean water. Water. swimming in the ocean. It's it salty when it's and hot it's, and salty. it's not you clean never at all. It's salt. not like they've got like clean ocean water or it's crystal blue along the coast. It's fucking dirty as shit. Who wow. cares? Why it's is water. it so dirty? It's because they dirty. they don't have like the refinery systems that the United States have. It's not like they, they just dump clean water into it. It's it's dirty as shit around those areas. It's all poverty, dude. I'm just saying, like yeah. you don't you don't really want to like it's it would be the equivalent of swimming in the Clinton River. So what you're saying is they need like the government to step. I'm in. not saying that they need the government <laughs> to do that. I'm not it sure saying, sounds like it, Danny. What, like, what I'm just saying come, is that coming out of the status. No, no, no. Yeah. What no. I'm saying is that because it's so impoverished, right. they kind of just dump the trash, kind of like in um, the Ganges River in India, where they just dump it. They don't would, give a uh, shit if the water is clean or not. They just dump it. That is a conversation I would like to have in the future. Is this one of my <laughs> biggest reservations with anarchy is the environment. How how do you protect the environment? I'm not yeah, arguing for uh, government, but I'm saying that is one of my biggest shoot concerns. Shoot polluters in the face. But uh, that one is thing a, that I have uh, noticed topic. is, um, you know, I've spent a lot of time in Mexico, and it's like... The rivers are foamy. I mean, yeah. I was going over the river in Gua- over Guadalajara, and you could see, you know, thousands of feet up. It was just like it's dirty. It's foam. very it dirty. It was foam, and you know, my ex-wife lived in a really beautiful little town, and you walk down to this beautiful idyllic river, and it stunk, and there's <laughs> foam everywhere. Yeah. But you know, we well, have a government down there, but people that pollute can just say hey uh you know look the other way here's a couple the, 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 the problem you know. down there is that they have oh. a government and, and the government Joe, is corrupt like because that shot I, I think you know no, joe you gotta finish up how is that i, I could have swore i drank everything that was in there did <laughs> joe you fucked this up royal. you fucked up the whole thing like oh this God. whole podcast whole it's all fucked <laughs> it's all fucked you just don't respect us, Joe. No, I think Joe, it's so thick and sturdy. Hey, I got an idea. Let's form a government and we'll vote. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, yeah. See, you got some in yours too. Well, we need to fix this. Oh, I don't have any. Yeah, I, I got some because it's yours. You're used to drinking it. That's why. See, I'm the only. Uh... Yeah, I'm out. It's uh, thick. It tastes like government when it's, it's warm. It's thick, and you probably have to tilt it for a long time to get it all out. Yeah, and you probably did. did that. No. um... It is very syrupy, boom. Yeah. I was going to say, in terms of, like, I've been kind of considering, just kind of like a as a half-assed measure, uh, to go down to Puerto Rico. And the reason why is... Why Puerto Rico? Okay. The part of the U.S. Was, that was part of the U.S. It's, and you get to escape income tax, don't you? Yes. You get mm-hmm. all the rights of being a U.S. citizen, all the private property rights and all that shit. Collect like welfare. But you <laughs> don't pay... Income tax, mm-hmm. and I think that's pretty. Well, that's a pretty, pretty, pow- in that's a pretty powerful too. way to be take the same way there. Oh, I mean, but kind of a- the thing is with the Virgin Islands, I don't think the United States actually owns the Virgin Islands. Yeah, it's their territory. Yeah, U.S. Virgin Islands. It is. Yeah, it's U.S. Vir- it's called U.S. Virgin Islands. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, the there's another one. It's U.S. Virgin Islands. It's doesn't it? Doesn't the um, you can uh, Great Britain own another version? Yeah, there's other. Ver- I think there's some. Yeah, like, there. like Britain owns a few islands. I was yeah. assuming. No, like, but like U.S. the U.S. Virgin Islands, you can go down there and get a job at a. Uh, I, I used to work at a guy that worked at the car wash with me. When I was talking about where I started drinking High Life earlier in the show. 
where uh, he he lived down there for a while. There's all kinds of islands. There. There's all kinds situation. of jobs you can get down there. There's all kind all those U.S. territories. There's jobs and shit you can get down there. You have to pay income tax. What the fuck he came back to Michigan for? I never understood. Well, I just I sit there kind of like that's not a really a, a bad idea. Just I mean, as like a as a as a halfway, because I'll be honest with you, I don't mind. I guess it's because I've been living under oppression for so long, but the life that I have right now, I don't consider horrible. It's it's not. It's you not, just don't hate the state. I do hate the state. Thank you. I, it's it's just it's not getting to the point yet where. Maybe it is, and correct me if I'm wrong, and it's fine. You're wrong. But it doesn't seem as extreme as totalitarian communism Russia. Why? It doesn't... Cause we have more prison population than they do. Do we? They did, yeah. Yeah, I think we crossed over the threshold. Yeah. There's more people in prison than we're in the gulags. But, but if you were to, like... There, are more people in, like, there were more people in prison right now than there are more... For example, there are more black people in prison right well, now I would have than to, were ever enslaved in the four hundred yeah, years. I would, I would, have, years I would have to ask. Slaves. I would have to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. and that's, that's not crazy. a. That's it, not, during that entire time, but currently, but there James, are, that is know, that. Don't get me wrong. That is one valid metric. I would also ask, how many citizens has our government slaughtered? Twenty million, I believe. Yeah, 20, yeah something like twenty million. Well, million. well, where? Here, right here, here, look, here in the continent. When you US. look at the numbers, oh, though, know. when you look at the numbers for the USSR, a lot of those are artificially inflated due to. You don't think Stalin killed sixty? Do famine oh, caused no. most of that? Yeah, no. but he famine uh, cost the vast majority. When you of the talk deaths, about the famine talk, that happened in um, Ukraine, that is caused by Stalin. Well, yeah, bad, bad tends, economic no, no, policies. No, it's worse than that. Bad economic he, policies. But here, here's them off, the thing. They stole their food well, fuck yeah. and told them they couldn't leave. But here's the thing. When you look at direct killings. Democide. You know, the U.S. definitely hasn't been. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Not we, I, I'm not. You don't of know, course, they also had we're way less about, time, too. We're not talking about You know, about the you. USSR was not around for as long as the U.S. Yeah. We're talking you know, about foreign people. I guess we... And when you're talking about the natives, I'm talking We've about the natives. natives. Oh. When you, but of course we also like, we the USSR wasn't them. around for as long too. So you also Most have of the to natives died that. of disease, though. Yeah, I don't. Disease think... brought and given to them. I mean, fucking some smallpox was, blankets yeah. and shit like that. That's some fucked up shit. Yeah, I wonder how much of that was. Well, Dave, we were doing yeah. genocidal tactics like wiping out the buffalo across the plains. Right. That yeah. was to kill no, them. Uh, that's the thing. Mike makes a point here. How much of it was actual, like, intentional? Yeah, it's, it's impossible to, to look back and know. I've never... But I think you have to count what they did to the Ukraine as murder. Yeah. Hmm. But I, well, I even think, though it was starvation. But I think it's just when you just Also, like, when you look at it from another aspect of it, when you look at if he wouldn't have sacrificed the Ukraine to take the food to feed everyone else... That's very the utilitarianism. Same, the, same, the same thing. That's very happen. utilitarianism. It is very utilitarianism. And that's why he did it, is because that shit was very a utilitarian kind of yeah. society organized. You also have but to consider what, what, you ought, what you have to consider is that maybe we would have had about the same amount of people starved. We don't know. We could have had more, could have had less. We really don't know. But to count the, the, the economic policies that caused the starvation in these people to the direct killing is it's not a fair comparison. I, I think right. what happened specifically to the Ukraine is fair. Because not only he fenced them off, he took their food, and then he said, you can't leave. Well, he closed the borders. Yeah. yeah he fenced so, them off. Yeah. <laughs> that's closed, what border, I mean. closed borders are evil. But I mean, yeah. That, was, that is what... I mean, if well, they were allowed... Well, a fucking jackass who doesn't if, know anything about libertarian. If they were allowed to leave, at least that you would have been You should use just that as a clip, just for the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What happened? It's about to start. Yeah, we're good. We're good. 
Was it not recording? No, it, no, was, it was about to start. It was 15 something. Oh, can we start? Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay. wow. That was, that was pretty Where intense. Where was that? Yeah, Cantwell. <laughs> <laughs> Cantwell's a jack. Are we talking about Cantwell now? I think a whole yeah, other topic. That's a whole other video. We, we could do like a special video on just Cantwell. No, I don't want to talk about Cantwell. All Fuck right, that yeah. guy. Well, He's Cantwell. a fucking jackass. You wouldn't strip for Cantwell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can, he can pay me. Yeah, he's paying him in free market. He's free market. No, no. Okay, I'll strip I, for anybody. I need, I, I need to ask this. <laughs> okay, I, I hear, I hear conflicting <laughs> information. Does Cantwell live on welfare? Oh. I don't know. I have no idea. I, no I don't have All any, I, know is I don't know anything bags. about the he's guy. How would he get welfare? But if he lives on welfare, I could give a shit. I don't know if he does. I don't know how. Because they don't usually just give welfare to single men. Uh, no, they no don't. yeah, they do. Yeah. I mean, Not usually. Get, Maybe if he's like. Uh, yeah, you can get. You can, no, no, no. You can get welfare. Got, how do you get welfare as a single man? apply for it. Dude, this tomato beer, it's got some kick to it. I like the spice. You should I be living the like, high life. High life's better. You mean the low life? The high life? The low it, life. Dude, it says high life right on the I don't give a shit. It's, it's the, the low sh- life. It's the champagne of beer. <laughs> champagne. <laughs> champagne. <laughs> no, it's champagne. Champ. Damn it. Champ. Champ. <laughs> Champ acne. Champ acne. <laughs> Champagna no. of beer. Champ acne. Oh, it's just like God. acne, but it's acne. Champ acne. It's the champ it's acne the, of beer. And you got the sportsman edition. <laughs> You're going to go rifle down Bambi, uh, too? Uh, <laughs> he's a sumo wrestler. <laughs> when he ain't stripping, he's sumo wrestling. If your beer doesn't come in a sportsman edition... <laughs> I don't see the goddamn mo- Masi oak all over that <laughs> I think that's like, bush that If they that. put mossy oak on it, I actually I like that when they do the mossy oak. But you know what the thing God that sucks about that is you put it in the grass, you can't fucking find it. If they put mossy oak bullshit. on it, Danny, they would have to pay a royalty to no, the they mossy do. oak they actually, people. Actually, they, a lot of a lot of hunting years, the oh. high life or the bush will make a camo edition beer, but not but mossy the thing, oak. The thing that sucks about it. Is, is you that you can't fucking find it? It's ridiculous. Yeah. What kind of sportsman would want to fucking? No, it? you want a sportsman edition. Boom. That's all we need. Mike, it's like those little apex bits for, for your drill. Edition. They should be orange. No, uh, see, black. Uh, m- we're m- getting very sidetracked. Yeah. Here. No, but uh, just hear me out for a moment. I have. I've been hunting. I have a real problem knowing that in the forest, I'm surrounded. Not just by my friends, but by people whole... drinking high life. No, no, not high life. Bush. But they're Blood all hammered. hammered. They're not hammered while they're hunting. Dude, do you know how many hunters <laughs> drink? I are you fucking hunted. kidding you me? You go back to the thing. I'm no, are you dumb him. as shit? <laughs> Joey, you're not a hunter, are you? I've but hunted, but... Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how we hunted. Joe, That's the they whole wake up on. at 6 a.m. and That's they the crack a beer. <laughs> and they're like, let's go turkey hunting. Let's go fucking deer hunting. And they're trashed by noon. So you're and they're saying, wearing camouflage. So you're saying that should be illegal? No. It's just, it's surprising... <laughs> How many people don't die <laughs> from you it? Die every year. I see. It's a, a bunch of drunk motherfuckers. I see a bullet gun. Yes, that's why they make them wear orange so they can tell the difference between a person and a fucking deer. But that they're orange... so hammered drunk they can't tell the difference. All right, did you see that picture of orange. Campbell <laughs> jumping the shark? Yes. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that that's what's happening now. Oh, that happened. Maybe long ago. maybe we're done. Uh, We've been going for quite a long time. What do you mean we're done? Maybe we're we maybe we're podcasts. ready to wrap up this. What are we wrapping this, up though? This, I don't even understand what's going this on. This anarchy right talk that we're having. I don't think talk. we brought anything. No, to talk we about still have another half future. hour to go, Joe. No, I think we should stop and maybe restart. I don't think we. we I don't think we've brought anything to a conclusion. That's the, the exact. That's, that's, that's kind of not the it's point. It's fucking though. anarchy. Yeah, we're never gonna conclude. Yeah, this is but weird. let's conclude this. So talk. what we should do is just cut it off just mid sentence. And just end the show at a random time. End Are we going show. in the pool? We should totally go in the pool. Yeah, that'd be cool. You know, it's four dudes. All the women <laughs> back out. Yeah. Yeah, but pools are still cool. Yeah, it's still going to be comfortable. In there. Yeah. So there's nothing further to discuss. Yes, there is. There's lots to discuss. But I think... 
Next We're time. disgusted. We're disgusted? <laughs> so, <laughs> about that Cantwell stuff. Yeah. That guy's a nut. No, I kind of want to continue I a little bit with this. Because I... Right, we'll do a little Cantwell, and then and then we'll go to the pool. I, <laughs> I don't... I'll be he honest. endorsed Trump. No, I don't. I get that. That's not even. You know what's the funniest thing about Kim? Yeah, but did he do the? Let me let me tell you something. Celebrity. I don't know. Well, yeah, he actually has endorsed the fort. There's words. actually a picture of him holding yeah. Trump's sign. No, but on that's the not. Side that's he started that's a not, Trump. He page he, or he endorsed the f- fourteen words, which was something in invent- which is something that was invented by a. Uh, a, was it neo? I forget what the fucking neo. What, what are the fourteen it? words? Who, what are the fourteen it, uh, words? Something about. Ensuring existence of white children, blah blah blah. Oh yeah, they're all racist issue. But it's a whole, issue. it's a whole neo-Nazi pledge. Yeah. And saying the fourteen. Why are they gonna be neo? Like Why can't they just be full-fledged? Nazis? Because neo-Nazis are the fucking retards. The new Nazis. People. They're fucking. But I mean, retards. why can't they just be? Because they're Nazis. not full-fledged Nazis. They're retarded-ass Nazis. They're not even <laughs> fucking... They're so stupid. When you look at a, a fucking Nazi and you talk to these neo-Nazis, they are the stupidest fucks on the face of the planet. You try and tell them Hitler was a goddamn socialist and they're like, Oh, what are you talking about? Hitler was a socialist? What the fuck do you think? It, it was a fascist. socialism. They don't even... Uh, a fascist, fascism is just a way to bring about mean socialism. Anything. No. They were, I mean, they're fucking stupid. So that's why they're neo Nazis. It's because they're new Nazis. They're not actual Nazis. Actual Nazis were fucking. They're dead. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah. They were scumbags. There might be like a couple of them running around still, but. Well, yeah. They're not doing they're, much according running. to they're, that new History Channel show, <laughs> Finding Hitler. I don't know if you've checked that show he's out. A, he's a fucking Argentina. Yeah, they're saying he's Argentina. <laughs> really? They're yeah, saying he's a, not dead. Uh, they're why? saying he's not dead. It's actually why? a really interesting why show. Why would someone How like old Hitler would he himself? be if he was no, alive? No, he's now. probably dead now, but yeah. there's a bunch of declassified documents. But why would Hitler kill himself? He, that's why, what, this is what the fucking why, show's saying. I mean, okay, let's just say he if didn't, you were Hitler... Uh, what would you do? Ah, uh, let's see. I they're saying I'm Hitler got the suicide. fuck out of it. Yeah, that's what they're saying. I mean, they that start, would be... They started the show with a DNA testing, and they DNA tested the remains that were allegedly Hitler's, and they came out to be a woman's remains. So, so all I know is I fucked his cousin. Yeah, obviously, it wasn't Hitler. But... Was she hot? I no. completely forget where I was going with this. Aside from Cantwell's and Nazi. You're Hitler's pain, still pain alive. I know, that's why we're not supposed to put that. No, I... That sounds... Uh, he's re- he's right gone. there, that's where you say I'm not a He's gone so about... anti-left that he's become a Nazi. Yeah, he's yeah. become a righteous... That's uh, why the right. left-right dichotomy is... And he's bullshit. creating his safe space. It's so funny. He is. He's it's creating exactly his what he's safe doing. space. It's so, so funny. But you know what, though? When, <laughs> he, when he said... I unfriended a hundred people because they... Do you know how many people follow? It's like five grand. Five grand. Yeah. yeah. But wait, wait. When he said that, what I saw was either... He banned me a while ago, so I'm going to yeah. be proud of that. So, because <laughs> I don't usually pay that close attention really to him. His, his stuff doesn't come across my mm-hmm. wall that often. But when he said that, I thought either I have to not say shit that offends him or not be his friend and I saved him the uh, effort and unfriended him myself. Well, he banned me a long time ago. You I, know used, to be his, I used to be his I friend on Facebook. You and he, have, like, he banned me a while ago. all kinds ago. of crazy shit about him until he did ban you. It was mm-hmm. about a year ago or two years ago? Maybe about a year ago. He was begging for money. He's and like begging yeah, for money. He was like hardcore begging for money. And like a month before that, I had reached out to him because I was on the the, the uh, uh, convention committee for the Libertarian Party of Michigan convention, and I was designated the job of finding a speaker. And I tried to hire him. Oh, uh, pay him to pay him to fly him out. Wow. Pay him just to speak. We ended up hiring Tatiana Morose to come sing to us. Flew her out, put her up in a hotel room, paid her a grand. Wow. You know. Can't what would have been he would have made a grand flown out pay, put up for a like hotel, a weekend yeah, yeah. You know, that a good deal you know yeah. and he turned the job down he didn't even want to fucking talk about it wow you know and so I'm like can't well I'm not gonna fucking donate money to you I tried to hire you for a job that you didn't right. want anything to do with 
No, I you know, I have. What a, did he respond or no? He banned me immediately. I, I, have a, <laughs> I have a general theory that um, the more uh, popular a celebritarian becomes, the more retarded corrupts. they get. No, the more likely they go. <clears throat> they go. Um, yeah, you are uh, state. They go back to state. And wait, Molyneux did the same thing. Molyneux. Molyneux um, uh, what's Tom that bitch Woods. with the tits? Not Tom Woods. Yeah, Tom um, Woods. Tom Woods got he's, nice tits. He's no, 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 no. The bitch with the tits. The state, um, I still listen to uh, Tom She went Woods. all Bernie he's Sanders. Who? Uh, fuck, what was her name? Oh, the bitch who I sent her tits to you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, uh, I have no clue. Fairbanks. Cassandra <laughs> Fairbanks. Yes, yeah. yes. And Oh, man. She has nice tits, though. Uh, she does. <laughs> Um, so then it was Have Cassandra Fairbanks that. and then <laughs> there was uh, John Black became kind of like a mini celebrity John Black he was never a mini He's celebrity never, well, but he, he, he kind of was no no but it just any, boils down to power corrupts everybody knew John Black was though people knew who he was but no one but like you see the big names and they all go back Not to the Adam state Kokesh. so are you on Bullshit. Adam Kokesh Sorry. is running for president. Yeah, I, I don't know. He I'm kinda, running for sheriff. <laughs> I don't know. I, I listened to his speech at Big Liberty book. Fest, and it kind of fucking... I had I had pause about it. I had a lot of pause about it. I oh, okay, like, what were you saying, Joe? You, you, I love the guy, but uh, it's just kind of like... Well, I have, did he, is he actually running? Slow. He's running for president in 2020. He's got plans, but... Now, Daryl W. Perry is currently running for president, and yeah, I'm no, going to come plans. out on the show and endorse Daryl But to be fair... And if Daryl um, W. Perry doesn't get the LP nomination, I'm going to endorse... Um, uh, he is running... What the fuck's the guy's name? On a, wait, we got two people talking at the same time. This doesn't work uh, on the video. I don't know. You're asking the wrong person. Uh, what the fuck's that guy's name? McAfee. We got, we got one minute. McAfee's running for president. The guy who founded McAfee Antivirus. I can't remember. Oh, that McAfee. guy's a nutcase, man. Ma- yeah, McAfee. McAfee. Yeah, he's yeah, a fucking nut. Name? He's fun. running for president on an abolish the Constitution platform. I love it. Bro. Yeah, he's a nut. So, yeah, and, Dude, that guy's and, fucking Can- and Cantwell is yeah, also bro. running for president. Now, how are you going to have Cantwell endorse Wait. Trump when he couldn't endorse or Trump not running on um, a uh, abolish the Constitution platform? All right, platform. let's wrap it up, Joe. No, we still got final um, words. We got a minute. Okay, final so, 15 seconds. Anyway, Kokesh is running for president on a platform of ending the government. It's a good platform to run. Yeah. But he wants to do it in a he gradual like, way, which kind of scares me. Because yeah. He's like, well, I, we're not going to just end an the argument. There is an argument for gradualism. So okay. this is a good topic for next time. Okay, you're, you got Running for office oh. on a platform of ending the Gradualism. State. Gradually. Gradualism versus... Fuck it. Revolutionary. Yes. Well, I'm a big fan of both tactics anyway. Danny, last word. I like all tactics. Yeah. Any tactic to bring down the state? Any tactic to bring down the state. Man. Any any means necessary. I'm a Malcolm X man, man. I, I love Malcolm By any means X, necessary. Man. All right. I think uh, non-aggression and peaceful, or uh, what do you call it? Uh, That's not a tactic, Dan. No, 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 no. You're no, a no. fucking hippie. No, 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 no. What's, what are uh, we going to sing? Civil, why don't we go sing civil Kumbaya? Civil disobedience. Civil disobedience. Let's go sing, civil, right, let's go right, sing he's Kumbaya, got Kumbaya in fucking the state of Latin. Civil Get the fuck out of here. Right. I think a violent revolution would be suicidal. All right. But necessary. These, these are excellent topics for next time. Uh, as one of the many tactics. I love you, my friends. Pussy is the last word. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was fun. <laughs>